What's up guys? It's your boy, Marshall Gunim, in my gaming streets, back in another video. Today we are playing Allies. Yeah, let's make a good ride with my best shot. So, let's go on game and let's see how it goes. To be honest, I'm scared of playing horror games. I don't get jump scared every time. Uh, hello. Not sure how to start this off, but let's get to it. To start, I do have to state this. These messages are running on a battery-powered tape recorder, so don't worry about it stopping midway. I want to thank you for coming in to look at our paranormal problem with our animatronics. I'm very grateful that you're doing this. I'll explain more about what happened to Mara and I as I am on a time crunch, but for now I'll give you the basics. First, I need to remind you of the legal mumbo-jumbo, since this is an alleged haunted place that you're researching. Since you signed the quote-unquote we're not responsible document, I'll paraphrase it again on call. Ellie's LLC is not responsible for death or injury to you. We're also not responsible for damage to any property owned by you. Now with that out of the way, we can talk about ghosts. Now you're currently in our office, which we've turned into a paranormal center with cameras. Kinda cool, you know? You can flip into the cameras, and from there you have windows. You can click around the map to go to different cameras, and you can also move the windows around to how you view fit. Plus, you can hire or show them. Pretty neat stuff. Oh right, about those cameras, we're running everything on a single CPU, which can get overwhelmed easily. It's best not to stress the system out, as it'll crash if you overload it. You'll need to reboot the entire system if a crash happens, as whatever camera that went out is disabled unless you pull the reset lever on your left. It's near the desk, but don't pull it unless you absolutely need to, because it is a limited use tool, which I can assure you will work again after one use. It'll shut down the building's power and reboot the whole system, fixing whatever cameras are out. Still, it is a limited use tool, so don't abuse it. You can also turn off the main lights, and once they're out, you can flash the hall lights to see what's down them. Just try to keep the lights on as much as possible. It's not safe to leave them on for too long. Tonight you might see two of our cast members, Joe the Pirate and Hunter the Farmer. They're themed to be good examples. Joe is an example of why stealing is wrong, and Hunter promotes healthy eating. Now, if Joe comes into your office, he likes to go through the vent. Should he do that, you'll need to turn off the lights. Joe's eyes will light up red, and he'll start searching left and right for you, so you must turn on the lights when he stops moving his head, and he must be looking away from you with his eyes not lit up. If you wait too long or turn the lights on his eyes are red, he'll spot you and who knows what unspeakable things will happen. As for Hunter, he'll make his way down to your office through the right side. Should he enter, he likes to be noisy and you'll hear fast metal footsteps. Once you hear them, turn off the lights and as soon as the running stops, flash the hall lights as soon as possible. Alright, I'll leave you to it. Good night and good luck. Well, I'm going to die. Okay, let's try it again. I am not good at it, but 
look at the controls. Make sure. So I go show again? Okay. One more, and that's all. Now I know my mistake. So when I this while it goes in a bit, it goes back again. So I realized why I did it. It's a so this time I'm not gonna make this happen again.
Oh. What? What happened in here? Ooh. Okay. So tomorrow I'm going to challenge Emily's Ellis maybe Lies. Uh, like and subscribe.